Let's start building our project and adding a new relay to it. There are several ways to build the plant structure. You can use the context menu or object types. Let's try both ways. First, we select an element. We right-click and choose New, and then the element we want to add. We usually use substation and not IED group here because the substation structure will give us a better overview of the whole project. It also makes it easier to export to SCADA systems later on. Now let's try drag and drop elements from the object types window. We will drag and drop the voltage level and bay level elements. There is only one substation element allowed in the project, but multiple voltage levels and bays can be added. The idea is that we will build the plant structure according to your project. Now let's start adding one relay to our project. Relays are always added under the bay element. However, some devices, like SSC600, are added on the substation or voltage level element. In our example, we will add a REF615. There are two ways to add a relay to the project, in offline or online mode. Offline mode is used when you do not have access to the relay, and online mode is used when you have communication to the relay. Offline mode is more common for engineering tasks when you are configuring the project and know the order code for the relay. Online mode is more common for testing and maintenance tasks when you need to read something out from the relay, but you don't have its configuration in the project. In this example, we will use offline mode. Here, you choose the communication protocol, communication port, and IP address. If the IP is known, you can choose the rear port and enter the IP address. If the IP is not known, you can use the front port. In that case, you can change the IP address later. When adding a relay in offline mode, the order code must be set correctly as it defines the relay's hardware and functionality. PCM checks that a non-valid order code is not selected. For configuration types, you can select an empty, example, or standard configuration. Empty configuration is preferred if you're going to create your configuration from scratch. Example configuration can be used if you already have a relay configuration you would like to import into the project. Standard configuration is used when you want to use the default configuration. This option gives you a good starting point for your relay configuration, which sometimes requires only minor modifications. The IEC 61850 edition mainly affects IEC 61850 protocol options. The addition to choose depends on the SCADA system to be used. If you do not know which edition to choose, you can choose 
Edition 1 At this point, PCM600 adds the relay to the project with the selected order code. In the next video, we will talk about general relay parameters and how to communicate with the relay online.